need it to numb. <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Literally stop. Squeezing the shit out of her hand. <laughs> Today we're going to Skinfinity Clinic in CAR to see Dr. Jayshree. She's a board certified dermatologist and I'm super excited because I'm going to be getting fillers for the first time. I'm not nervous about it because I'm getting fillers. I'm nervous at the fact that you know needles kind of intimidate me a little bit, but I'll try to get over that. And I don't think it's as scary as it seems and as scary as I made it out to be in my head. <laughs> The purpose of this video is to kind of get over this taboo that people have on getting fillers or any kind of cosmetic surgery in general. I'm going to show you step by step what happens from the beginning to the end and I'll show you the results even a few weeks after. So um, a big disclaimer is that nobody really needs to get um, this kind of work done. It's only if you feel that you want to do this, it's your body and you can do whatever you feel makes you feel better. I've been coming to Dr. J. Sri Shara since I've been in India, which is awesome. She's been doing my vampire facial, which I used to get done every month. So I'm really excited to be working with her on something different today. I am shit scared of needles and I'm the biggest baby, but you'll get to see like that it's not that big of a deal and I make it a way bigger deal than it actually is. Okay, Dr. Jayshree, what are we doing today? No, okay. So um, let's you know look at try and understand what you want, right? Okay. So when you look at this chart, what is it that you think you need? So, um, like I said, um, we had spoken a while ago, but I've always been a little bit insecure about my under eyes, like the hollowness. Um, it's just, I think, genetic. I've genetically always had this, so I was thinking of getting that filled and um, maybe a little bit like natural looking filler in my lips, which I've never done before, but I'm kind of nervous about it, but I think it'll be really good. So, um, <laughs> let me just assess your... And so you want to be shown me, but mm -hmm. one more look, it's the under eye, right? Mm -hmm. if, if it's that one thing that you want to correct, it's the under eye. Because it makes you look tired. It really does, yeah. yeah. And I'm usually on camera, so like I yeah. I feel like my eyelashes especially create even more of a shadow. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. So there is a sunken appearance here, and that's because your bone is a little concave there. Mm -hmm. this, this is the orbital rim, and there's a maxilla here, which is concave. And you know, there's also a little bit of fat loss. So there's that sunken appearance, and it casts a shadow, and it looks like it's dark. Okay. Okay. And that's why it makes you look tired all the time because mm -hmm. it's sunken. Mm -hmm. So your look less tired can happen with really light hyaluronic acid fillers under the eye mm -hmm. and that attractiveness will come with a little bit of little wee bit of filler on the lip okay. right awesome. so we do that now hyaluronic acid fillers are very very safe okay hyaluronic acid is and it's a constituent of our skin mm -hmm. and it's also there in our bones and our joints it's there in our retina yeah and it is known to hydrate the skin it is known to uh, absorb water and keep 1000 times its weight of water within it mm -hmm. and so it plumps up the skin a little bit and it also you know it's there in all these joints it hydrates and you know it, it helps yeah. mobility yeah uh, it also has this amazing property of stimulating fibroblasts a lot of times people come and say oh if we do fillers once when it wears off 
is it going to look worse yeah now it will never look worse as you rightly said because hyaluronic acid will already begin its work by stimulating your natural uh, cells which will produce collagen that's awesome right yeah so and, yeah. It, and it also attracts a lot of water right yes. so like the more water that i have like the more full it'll look and hydrated and yeah. glowing and radiant as well yeah and i noticed that most of our like skincare products have hyaluronic acid in them like most of the moisturizers already yeah. have that yeah. very very safe it's fda approved it's us fda approved well researched so i'm excited to do this i know you've done my vampire facials before so i'm not like new to the whole needle thing but i'm really excited to see like what the result is going to look like once we do this anyone watching that like don't freak out by like the immediate result because it might be a little bit swollen so i will show you the actual result after like a couple weeks or actually after a few days and then a couple weeks Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel you my face. You are there to hold her hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some reason, I always thought that like this side of my face looks more proportionate than this side of my face, but I don't know why. Yeah, it's always like that for, for all of us. One side is always our better side. Especially the side that you sleep on is the worst side. It's the bad side, actually. Come by now. So. Oh, yeah. so easy and simple I barely held her hand. <laughs> I didn't even cry. Now we did lips. Cry. <laughs> yeah that I feel like you give me I need the hand for the lips. This is gonna be more intense because it's like your lips. I'm not gonna even say for like the last five years I've been wanting to do this. Yeah. I'm so happy that I'm doing it with you. This is what it's I like I was just fainted in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Video is gone. <laughs> I usually This feels like I just bit my lip. I'm doing this with you. Literally, Thank I've you. never done this. I really like it. Yeah. And it won't be like so drastic anyway, but I really like this shape. Are you happy? You <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I love it. 
so I just got back from Dr. Jayshree's office and this is what my face looks like after getting the fillers done. And as you can tell, it's a little puffy and a little swollen on under my eyes and my lips aren't that bad like in, in terms of swelling, but I really like the way that it came out. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so it's day five and uh, I still have a lot of swelling in my under eye area, like right above my cheeks. The doctor says that it takes like a good two weeks for the results to show, but I just wanted to show you what it's looking like on day five. Um, let me just tell you day two and three were really extreme, like I'll just show you a picture of what my lips looked like on day two and I kind of got a little bit like scared but rest assured that the swelling goes down as soon as a few days later. Um, you can see that I still have some bruising on my lips but uh, I think it'll go away in a couple of days. I'm liking the way that it's like settling in so I'll update you guys in the next few days and I will keep showing you what it's looking like as the swelling reduces a little bit. Okay guys, so this is day 10 after getting fillers and as you can see, the swelling has gone down significantly. I'm really liking the way that my lips are looking now. It's so much better than what it was on day two, three, four, and even five, <laughs> but I'm really liking the way that it's settled in. I also really like how this is starting to fill up here. Um, Dr. Jayshree says that after two weeks, you will see the final result, but I don't think it's gonna change more than this. I think this is basically what it's going to look like and I'm really loving it. Just a disclaimer before ending this video, I just wanna say that I made this video because I wanted to break barriers and kind of let people know that there's like a taboo and a stigma of people getting any kind of cosmetic procedure done. It's, it's kind of crazy to me that sometimes people lie about the work that they've gotten done and then they create these unattainable beauty standards. So I just want to be open about the things that I'm doing. And by no means am I saying that everyone should get this cosmetic procedure done. It's just that it's something that I really wanted. And if you really want something like this, then you should definitely go for it. But I'm not saying that you should get it done. Also, make sure that you find a board certified dermatologist or a plastic surgeon, um, just like how Dr. Jayshree is board certified from America and India. So that was something that was really important to me when I was looking for a doctor who would do something like this. So I'm really happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.